video, I'm going to be giving you guys some advice on 10 key things I wish I knew before I started college. And I'm going to be doing my hair at the same time. So if you guys are interested in hearing about the 10 things I wish I knew before starting my college career at North Carolina A&T, can I get it at Geek Pride? Make sure y'all continue watching and don't forget, subscribe to my channel. So, this is my wig. I'm reinstalling. I got this wig from um, Shop Dollhouse Collection. The Shop Doll, I think, I think it's just Shop Dollhouse. I don't think it's collection, but I got this wig from her. Um, this is my like third time installing it, and the hair is super bomb. This is really, it's really long too. I want my titty to pop out. I'm about to just throw this bad boy on and then get to gluing my hair down. But um, we're gonna get started with the video once I like toss it over my head. Woo! Oh, baby, this looks crazy. But, okay, so ten things I wish I knew before I started college um first thing on my list is join as many group chats as you can um well fyi if y'all see me like looking over here it's because i'm looking in this mirror over here so i can kind of like make sure my wig is together but yes um first things first is join as many group chats as you can um that's one thing i can say maybe i didn't do like freshman year first semester but by second semester I caught on and um I joined some group chats because like when you're in these different classes and you are trying to do homework and projects and stuff like that like it's important to be in some group chats because you never know when you might need help with something and then you don't have somebody's number in your class to call so, um, being in some group chats is, um, very helpful. Also, when it comes to, like, I, I went to A&T, so you know what they say about A&T, how it's, like, a party school. But even if your school is not a party school, schools that aren't party schools still have parties, you know? So, um, finding out where, like, the parties are and even just, like... As a freshman, before you even get to like get to college, being in some group chats is kind of helpful because it's like when you get to campus for the first time, you already have like five or six or 20 people that you've been communicating with over the summer or however long you've been in that group chat. So it's just, um, you know, really helpful to be in some group chats before the school year starts, or even if you join some group chats after the school year has already started, um, that's okay too. Moral of the story is join some group chats. I almost forgot to tell y'all, if y'all are new to my channel, y'all not always gotta have my wine in my videos. Today I'm drinking um, bread and butter, so that's the wine of the evening. Number two on my list, is something I struggled with when I um, came to college because I just thought I had to know everything day one. Like, I, I felt like I had to come in knowing that I want to do this, I want to be this, I want to do this and this and that. For some people, they literally come in like, I want to do X, Y, and Z, I want to join this, be this, and they do it. So basically, number two on my list is it's okay not to know what you want to do when you first get to college. A lot of us are like new to like being on your own, having to make these crucial life decisions that can impact your future in a significant way. And so it's like for the first time, you're having to make like real life decisions, you know? So it's okay to not like to not know what you want to do or it's okay to change your mind because y'all don't know I've had I had so many friends while I was in school change their major like 
two, three times. And I'm looking like, why are you changing your major so much? But it's like, you start something and then you're like, I don't know if I really want to do this. And then you might do like an internship and realize, oh, like, that's really not what I really want to do. Number three is get close to your advisors because you'll need them in the long run. So when I say advisors, that's like your academic advisor, um, the person you go to like when it's time for you to register for classes. Your advisor more than likely knows you the best. It's outside of like your teachers. They're like the next person who really like knows you. You've been out of college for how long now? It's almost four years, like, damn. I've been out of college for almost four years. I'm getting old, damn. My advisor was so cool. My advisor actually was a, um, Aggie herself. So it's really cool whenever you have like advisors who also went to a &T. Because then when homecoming come around, or even teachers, because when homecoming come around, it's like they've been in your shoes. They know what's up. Like, y'all know the drill. It's homecoming. Y'all not about to see me. I'm not about to see you. So it's like, give me my assignments on Monday, and I'll turn it in next Monday because I'm outside all week. Period. Okay, I just had to do that off camera real quick because... I was struggling. Number four, make friends with people in your major. That's also important too. Making friends um, goes hand in hand with um, getting close to your advisors. Um, it's not even about really like you're my friend or stuff, things like that. It's just more so like it's better having friends in your major because or just people you can go to who you're cool with because whenever y'all have homework or like projects, it's just good to have those, you know, people around you who are also in your class as well. And then you're going to spend a majority of your college career with these people just because y'all are in the same major, you know. So it just makes sense to want to get cool with the people in your major because... That's who you're going to see in most of your classes. That's who you're going to be around most of, you know, your college time. So it just makes sense having people in your corner who are kind of going through the same thing you're going through. And always have somebody who's smarter than you in your group because you just never know what they might know or what they can teach you. So I'm always for making friends in your major because you never know who they might know or how they can pour into you and you know vice versa so make friends with people in your major pretty self-explanatory so the next step is well not next step but next on my list making number five is apply for internships and scholarships well apply it's like a two-part so apply for internships every every semester every semester every summer if you're not doing summer school you should be at an internship it's really important because when you're doing your resume and you're going to the career fair or just um applying for jobs it looks good to potential employers that you've had x y and z experience in different internships and it exposes you to like real world situations and just like how your job will be in the real world so i thought i wanted to do a half up half down with my hair but i think i'm gonna go for like the no part look and do like some cute funky baby hairs and just do like no part or whatever because yeah, I don't know what I want to do with my hair. So the last one we ended off with was apply for internships and scholarships. Number six, don't wait till the last minute to do your housing and always have a backup plan. Let me tell y'all a story about housing. 
Well, at least at a and our housing is janky as hell. My little brother just got booted out of his housing, like, just last week. He goes to a and A&T will do it to you, man. They done did it to me before. Basically, like, don't wait till the last minute to do your housing. Like, make sure you have your housing in order because one thing about it, these universities don't care. They just want your money. So, make sure you're not left out homeless because um you didn't do your housing on time like a t has like a time frame for when you can apply for housing and if you miss it then it's giving you're about to have to figure it out and possibly live off campus or get on the wait list or hope somebody fails and they can't um they don't need housing anymore because like they're not about to be a student anymore. So, like, stuff like that, you need to definitely be on the lookout for. Because I've seen too many people, myself included, be asked out of luck because of housing. Okay, next on my list is take good notes. Taking good notes is also very important because I had teachers who would be like, oh, like, this is open notes, open book, open this. I'm like, oh, Betsky, you doing open everything. I like that. Important to have good notes because when that test come and you don't know the material, oh, baby, I don't know what to tell you. Taking good notes is important because I, I took notes freshman year that helped me like junior and senior year because Essentially, the stuff that you're learning freshman year and junior year, it kind of like just adds on as you go throughout the um, the school year. So just having like taking good notes and stuff can help you as well because it's like when you get to senior year and you learning about X, Y, and Z, you can be like, oh, I learned that freshman year in such and such class and then you have all those notes that relate to it and then like it's just good to have good notes um I used to sell my notes honestly that's another little hustle I had I used to sell my notes to the people who never was in class who always needed the notes because when the test came and they knew the teacher was a type of teacher to let us use our notes or even with homework like you need your notes so just make sure you're taking good notes because one thing you don't want to do is be that one student who always like you got some notes you got the notes you got the notes because people get tired of that because it's like I'm doing all this work what are you doing in class like you know so number eight on my list is make a lot of friends but prepare for people to switch up that's something I had to learn the hard way because I come from Charlotte, North Carolina, so I'm a sweet girl and I'm pretty nice to everybody until I have a reason not to. But going to college, you realize that people have different upbringings, they were raised different, went through different life type of events, so everyone doesn't have that same southern hospitality that I might have a lot of times you can get fucked up that way so um my first year at a and I had a lot of friends like I was in all those group chats I had tons of friends as every year went by I lost one friend because of this I lost one friend over a dude I lost another friend over some he said, she said mess. So it's like, you can't avoid losing friends. But you just have to kind of make the best out of a messed up situation. In college, they say that you meet your lifelong friends in college. Like, this is where you meet a lot of the people who you'll who will stick around you know the rest of your life 
So it's important to, you know, make good friends, build good relationships, but also be aware of the snake ass hoes because it's going to be a lot of them. I'll tell you that. I had somebody who was my friend accuse me of fake stealing her stuff. And all I did was mistakenly pack her stuff with mine. Like, I swear, y'all, I did not pack that girl's stuff on purpose. Pack her stuff with me on purpose. And I told her I would ship it to her. And she made a whole fit about it. Literally, y'all, a whole fit. If y'all went to um, if y'all went to school with me, y'all probably heard about that shit. Okay, I think I got my hair together. Like, this isn't my best install yet. I really kind of sort of rushed a little bit. Not rushed, but sped through it. That brings us to number nine. That brings us to number. Watch my face. Number nine is. Join some on-campus clubs and extracurricular activities. a t is good for having a, they do like a career fair and then they do like another thing like um, a fair for you to join clubs. Ooh, shaking the table. They have like another fair where like you can join clubs and see what extracurricular activities. Um the school has to offer such as like I was in Charlotte Aggies I was in African Aggies I was in um a journalism department but I wasn't in that too long it was kind of boring um I applied to be a RA and they denied my ass I don't know why but they denied me to be a RA so that was that but um yeah just like different Different stuff on campus, because for one, you're going to make friends, meet people, network. And then for two, it looks good on your resume. And then for three, well, certain extracurricular, well, I'm not even going to say that. Like, being an RA, you get paid. But these other clubs, like, you, you're not getting paid. You're just, you're here for a good time, not a long time. So, that's the only thing. But, um... Hold on, let me stand up and do this. But, yeah, so, join some clubs. Don't be boring and be that person who sits in your dorm room all day. Like, even our Miss a t who was a double, she was like a double science engineer major. Like, two hard-ass majors. And she still was Miss a t And she still was in, like, a couple of other stuff, too. So, it is possible, like, but if you don't feel like you can balance being a student and being in a club, don't do it. Your grades always come first. But if you can be in one thing that, you know, will look good on your resume, like, let's say you're a biology student. Maybe join a club that's catered to, like, biology or, you know, something like that. Where, like, it kind of, it, it makes sense, you know? Like, do stuff that makes sense, at least, you know? So, okay, so. Um, ooh, people that get money, people that want to get money. Okay, so. I'm almost done with my hair. Look how it's coming out. Last things last. My last bit of advice for. 10 things I wish I knew before I started college would be just to have fun. Like, a lot of people make college seem like, oh my God, like, when I was in high school, my teachers was like, yeah, college gonna be so hard. If y'all can't even do this, y'all not gonna be able to do that in college. Like, it gets even harder, which they weren't completely lying, but still have fun. Like, them, them, Four years go by so fast, like, in the blink of an eye, you're graduating. Make sure you have fun, like, live every day, have fun, go out, but still get that work done. But, yeah, like, have fun. Like, that's what college is for. You're away from home. You just living your life. You're becoming a young adult. So, enjoy your time in college. What was I about to say? 
have a good time, but don't let a good time have you. That's what I was trying to say. Like, I definitely miss A&T for sure. Like, every day I wake up, I'm like, dang, I miss A&T. Like, I would do college all over again. Like, I would literally do A&T all over again from start to finish. And the only thing I would do different is maybe be in a different major. But other than that, mm-mm. And T don't owe me nothing. I do it again and again and again and again because, yeah, me and T go together real bad. I love my um on alma, alma mater for sure, for sure. Oh, look at that! I'm gonna burn my face on camera. Okay, you guys, that concludes my video. I hope I was able to give you guys some really good, helpful advice on your college career whether you're a freshman sophomore or even a senior just looking for some helpful advice i hope i was able to give you all some great tools and just some key factors to have a successful college career and y'all got to see me style and do my fabulous hair all at the same time period y'all didn't know i could multitask but thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe this video and tune in and watch out for when my next video will drop.